April 16th, 2023. Gold medal game at the Women's World Hockey Championship. The Canadians were in the lead as the third period began, but then Team USA captain Hillary Knight went to work. Notching a hat trick, she catapulted past a personal milestone of 100 points at the Women's Worlds, won the gold, and seized the MVP title. This is your moment. Seal the hat trick as Hillary Knight, snatch the gold from your northern rivals, and make history. We are just getting ready to drop the puck here in period number two. And we are all tied at one. Batteries are charged up, and here we go with period number two. Locks them. Team Canada's on the attack. Now a quick pass to Bourbonnet. Oh, and she makes the save, and that really packed a punch. Here's a shot, and that's blocked away. Moves it on over to Malte. Great read with the stick. Here's a chance. Blocked in traffic. Slides it diagonally tonight. Here we go. On man rush here. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. She reads this play perfectly, James. The shooter has nowhere to go. Tight to the net. She recognizes it, challenges, and gives no space. Knight sliding the puck behind the net. With the blast. And she makes the save. I don't think she got all of it, but just enough. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Quick pass to Knight. Gains the zone through the middle. In close. Big save in front. and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. You can see that she's trying to battle to find the puck, James, as she's dropped to the butterfly in that default position, but there's so much presence in front of the net, though, screen, and she's unable to find it. Can't track it, and beats her clean. Team USA's taking a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. Team Canada's got it in the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. That's wide of the net. Picked up along the wall by Knight. And now it's over to Carpenter. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. Answers the call with a big save. Oh, just a great heads up play by Clark. Here's a short pass to Malte. Moves it to the middle, and she denies that opportunity. Maltese exploring options with the puck. Takes the feet at the back end. Fires one, and a great save. Slides it quickly tonight. Team Canada's got it now. She's standing tall after that one. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. There's the save. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. Taken along the wall by O'Neal. Oh, the paddle save on the play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Team USA's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Carpenters won it in their own end. Knight's got it into offensive territory. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Bourbonnet. And she's knocked off the puck there. And it's a quick pass to O'Neal. Team Canada's got the puck against the half wall. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Fires it and makes the save. Carrying the puck. I've seen defenders try and knock her off the puck before.
power, but she just keeps it going and stays on the attack. Let's see how she can use this to her advantage here. Hammers the shot! There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. More than half the period has expired. We've got a 2-1 game. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Team USA's got the puck along the wall. Knight's got it in the corner. Right at the doorstep. Tremendous saving goal as she uses all of her stick to deny them. Well, great anticipation as she moves to the top of the crease, recognizing that there isn't much real estate. The shooter's got the puck in the inner slot. She's going to take it away and make the save. And that's offside, stopping the play. Second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. Knight's gonna play it against the half wall. Big time stop! The end, this look sharp right from puck drop, James. I mean, a high volume of shots that she's faced, her shooting percentage is off the charts, and really giving her team an opportunity to be in this game. That's what you want from your goaltender. Manage the storms and be able to get out of your own zone. They need to do it in front of her. Grabbed along the board by Knight. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Quick feed to Knight. Drop here any moment to get things underway again. Clark's won the faceoff. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Moves it quickly over tonight. Team Canada's got the puck now. Clark's got it in the defensive end. Bank pass off the board. Scooped up along the wall by Ferdinand. And she's knocked off the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, it kind of fooled her, but she got just enough to keep it out. And now it's grabbed by Clark. Shot stopped by the goaltender. Well, the ABCs of goaltending is all about balance and positioning, and she's showing it off right there as she gets square to the shooter in the slot and makes the save. Team USA's got the puck against the boards. Team Canada's got the puck. Feeds it on over to Thompson. On man rush. Big play inside the defensive zone. Team Canada's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And great hustle to come up with the puck. Team USA's got a hold of it against the wall. Scores! Puts it in the She's been showing her skill set all night long. I mean, the ability for her to create space and get those golden opportunities and then execute, tremendous game. Goaltenders work on tracking the puck all the time in practice. They also work with screens, and the default is drop to the butterfly position. Make yourself as big as possible. That's what she does here, because she can't find the puck. Unfortunately, this one beats her. Team USA has been the dominant team all night. Look at this, a two-goal lead here late in the second. Yeah, they've worked hard, and really they've been the dominant team. And what's showing on the scoreboard is exactly the way it should be. And they'll be heading into the intermission. And this is one of the things I didn't like as an athlete. When you were playing well, I didn't want to rest. I wanted to keep going at it. She takes the feed. What a save after that one! Getting into the later stages of this period. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Team Canada's got a hold of the puck. Provenance crossed the line and is on the attack now. And he scores at the buzzer and they get one. Well, coaches always say the first minute and the last minute of every period are critical. Well, now they've got momentum heading into the next frame. they got to carry it forward. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Save right at the end. Team USA's 
been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Team Canada's got to be better in the third period, no question about it. They've got to be more aggressive on the puck, and they've got to attack the lanes when they get the opportunity. They've had very few shots on net, and they're fortunate this is a close game. If they want to get back in it, they've got to get into the offensive zone. They've got to get net front presence, and they have to shoot at all costs. That's a solid hit. Puck picked up by O'Neill. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Tries to get the puck over to Keller. Driving right to the front. Team Canada's gained possession along the boards. Moves the puck along the half wall. Into the offensive end now. Moves it to Knight. Grabs possession of the puck. Loses possession after taking a spill onto the ice. Denied that one. Another. shot James but she had all the time in the world to walk in and tee it up and beat the goaltender six side Team USA sending a quick message here early in this third period with that goal Cheryl we are not slowing down it's not slowing down and it's entertaining when you provide offense right off the hop we love to see it and you know who doesn't their opponent and here at center, that's intercepted. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. We're still in the early stages of this period. Lots of offense here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. Clark's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Spectacular save on the play. Drives to the crease. Tinder watching that one. Well, she's defining the term ready goalie. She gets right out of the top of her crease because that puck is in that low inner slot area. And when you make yourself as big as possible, there ain't no holes in the net. Start by the goaltender. Nice lead pass from the goaltender. Scoops up the puck here. Trying to get back on the attack now. Team Canada's moving it up the ice. From the point, looks to make something happen. Takes that pass back at the point. Oh, and she gets a little bit of the puck there to deny them. Big hit. Here they come on the attack. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Oh, and she denies that one. What a shot. Boom! Big time hit against the boards as she absolutely rocked her. Well, she anticipated that one perfectly, timed it, and executed to a T as she leaned in and laid all of her weight along the wall. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Team USA's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. Clark's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Takes a bump, but hangs on to the puck. Goes right to the crease. Comes up with a monster save in front. James, there's simply nowhere for this puck to go. I mean, the shooter's in the low slot area, and she reads it perfectly. She's challenging at the top of her crease and limiting the space available in behind her. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Team USA's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Carpenters won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Great hit on the play. Here's a shot with the stop. One way to help your D out and clear the net front, steer the puck to the corner. Excellent rebound control. Centers glide in. 
into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Team USA's won the draw. Rips it. That goes wide. She gets all her weight behind that one. You can see her pushing down on the bottom of her stick, but why she does it, she gets everything behind it, just doesn't hit the target. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Quick pass to Thompson. Team Canada's on the attack. Bourbonnais got it in the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to O'Neal. Wicked stop by the goaltender. Connects with a long lead pass here in the middle. She handles the feed. And it goes off a stick. the halfway mark of this period. 4-2 is the score. A oh, great read coming in off the wing to come up with the puck on her part. Team Canada's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it on over to Thompson. Scoops up the puck now. And it's a quick pass to Malte. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Moves it to the middle. Dishes it off again here. And she denies that opportunity. What pressure here on the offensive end. Carries it in. Fires it on net. And she makes the save there. And she's knocked down to the ice and loses the puck. Team Canada's got the puck along the boards. Slides it over to Malte. And someone's going on. going to go off for a pair for charging here. Tight game in a critical time for the penalty killing unit as they take to the ice in hopes of trying to kill this one off. And she keeps that one on the net. Power plays more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame. They score! Especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. Team Canada's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Team USA is going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And she made the save there as play continues. Oh, what a move! And that shot gets caught in traffic. And they continue to apply pressure here. Sure that 
they replace that pin. You know, if it's fired, if it's cracked, and uh, another shot comes, or a big hit, that'll send it through to the fans. Carpenter's won the draw, they'll look to set up. Turns it aside! And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Carpenter. Oh, what a hit! She has brought the physicality with force tonight! Well, she certainly has, and first things first, she's got to get there. Those first five strides have been incredibly quick. Separating body from puck, man, you better not cross the middle with your head down. They found the extra attacker out here for the faceoff. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. Team USA's won the faceoff deep in their own end. from all the 